Hey guys, so um, today I'll be reviewing this figure, and so here we are, here he is. But let's take a look at his packaging. So, uh, be right back. Yeah, the packaging is massive. So, as you can see in the front, it says Iconis, Energon Armor, Bumblebee, Transformers. Here we have a back box art of, <laughs> of Iconis being interrupted by this upside down rust sticker. Yes. 23.99. Here we have the back. A lot of things that I don't want to read. But we'll read if I'm bored. Here we have the other side. And uh, pretty much it for the packaging. So, um, be right back. So, this figure. He's honestly really good. So, he may be, he may not be massive like the size of my doggo, but he's actually pretty good. <clears throat> so, yeah. So the figure has limited possibilities, mostly on his, uh, mostly on his head, because the head doesn't have possibility. So, his arm can do a full ratchet, 360. Arms can move this far, and it has a bicep swivel. There you have his. There you have a. There you have kibble. Then he has this. He has ratcheted elbows as well. Now he, his other arm can't do a full 360. As you can see. So I hope that wasn't a prank. So he has a problem. Mostly on his. Mostly on his. Mostly with accessories and his waist. So let's. So here we have the sword. Now his sword has a few problems. It's too tight. No, really. When you try to uh, when you try to put it on his hand, it's tight. And when you try to take it out, uh, you I fear that it'll break. And he has limited possibility because of the kibble, because of the attached kibble. Yeah, there's assembly required. So, let's, so he has accessories. So, for one he has a shield, which is, op which is opened. So, you're going to, if you, you can see a 5mm port and a 5mm peg, you're going to line them up, like always. You have a sword, and you're going to plug it onto his hand. Yeah, I'm not gonna put it on the way in, it's too tight. So yeah, this for a size comparison, this figure is is surprisingly big. So for a size comparison. Armada Megatron. Yeah, he's still big. Combiner Wars Armada Megatron is still big. So yeah, for transformation, so you're going to take out his weapon, yikes, this is ridiculously tight, there you have his sword out, now let's transform, so first off you're going to take his, you're going to take his kibble, and you're going to rotate it at that direction. Close it. And same. Oh yeah, he has an energon armor. If you're saying this is scripted, it isn't. My none of my videos are scripted. Including the Bunker.jpg series. Yikes. Come on, man. He doesn't want to close. Yeah, there is a problem. His his back does not want to close, and his and his and his energon armor is a problem. It's very, it's going to become a problem. And along with if you want to transform him, so I'll be right back. And I'll just fix it later. So you're going to bring this back, kibble, and you're going to. Hold on, I forgot. 
So you're going to bring his problematic sword and you're going to just slot it in there. There you go. So you're going to actually try and position him. Yeah, the inner drone armor gets in the way. This inner drone armor is getting in the way. I think you're supposed to press the lever on his over here, but it's mostly for his transformation to robot mode. So, um, yeah. Hold on. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot. You're, the ar this arm is not supposed to be positioned. It's not supposed. It's supposed to be not supposed to be in an angle, because that affects his transformation. So you good. Oh yeah, I forgot this arm. You're gonna do the same steps on his other arm. So you're going to angle the arms. There you have his arms. Now let's get on to the weird part. So, I'm going to sandwich his legs like that, and you're going to. There is a tab over here, and there's a slot over there. So you're going to try and. Ah. I'm going to try and tab it into place, which is more harder, which is more harder than it sounds. So I'll um, be right back, because he's going shorter. So you're going to bring the shield, close it. Yeah, his shield is a problem as well, because it's too tight. Yeah, a lot of things are these, yeah, this figure has a lot of tight joints. So you're going to, so you're going to tab him into this 5mm port. And you can see that there's these slots, and it actually slots into these, into the p shield. So, yeah, I don't remember which, where it's supposed, to, how it's supposed to be. But judging by the packaging, it's supposed to be the. It's supposed to be this. Hold on. Oh god! Oh god! Don't. It's supposed to be like this. Oh gosh, dang it. <laughs> so um I'm just looking at the camera not not the actual figure. So um there you have him. And it is all look, and it's alright. I honestly wish they would have it could have should have been a part of Icon because if you know, Iaconis was actually part of, actually turned into a part of Iacon. So, um, yeah. This figure's pretty good. So, for size comparison. Cyber Reverse Battle Class Shockwave. Yeah, this throws the size comparison off. And another way to throw the size comparison off is ridiculous. Compare them next to the Netflix wheel check. <laughs> yeah, I like this figure throws off a lot of com size comparisons. Overall, the figure is really good. But I forgot. He's compatible with Blushes. But specific Blushes. Starscream's Blushes. There you have him. And I highly, hardly, highly doubt these are compatible. So yeah, that's it for the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.